in this video on his channel, it says, hopefully Charlie will make a video on this and help prove my innocence. He's a homie. I don't, I don't know if this is about me, but a lot of people seem to think that it was. I want to make it clear. I don't know this guy, so I haven't like defended him or anything like that. And I don't know why people are emailing me asking why I'm defending him when I haven't done or even said anything about this until right now. It's important to know that all of these are just allegations at the moment. Nothing is proven, but seems like some pretty hard evidence. This isn't just some like Twitter dog shit where one anonymous account says in 2013 at Megacon Orlando at the washing machine enthusiast booth, uh, soda popping was groping on my nutsack, fondling a little bit aggressively. It felt good at first, then it got a little weird when he started tugging on my nutsack hairs. And, you know, ever since then, I haven't been the same. Soda popping's a predator. You know, it's not just like baseless nonsense or anything. Like, there is real evidence against this streamer for the things that they're being accused of. So, since that video title has led people to believe that I'm somehow involved in this whole thing, I thought it was at least worth talking about. So I want to go over the full lore of the situation, as well as some things about it that just don't add up about all of it. So this all started with a thread on Livestream Fails, LSF, also known as the home to XQC's clips. If you miss an XQC stream, you can just check Livestream Fails and see every single moment of it posted there on the front page of it. Of course, I'm only kidding. There's Ms. Kiff clips as well. But last night there was an anomaly. Some kind of like fucking solar eclipse had occurred on livestream fails where the top post wasn't XTC or Mistkiff, it was this. And it's about this user talking about their experience with a streamer. And you can read it for yourself, but the gist of it is they were following this channel in 2018 and randomly decided to check in on them that evening. 